I'm Mike Sitzma, funeral director here at Bates Funeral Chapel. I see families in some of their toughest times. However, I get to see our community at its best through the outpouring of love and support they show those affected by loss. I challenge you to join me and my family to look for opportunities daily to be the one. With 16 bays and several trained technicians, Bill and Ray's operates the finest diesel engine repair and towing service in Southeast Iowa. They perform complete engine repair, electronic diagnostics on all types of engines, drivetrain rebuilding, fleet service, and motor coach repair, along with 24 hour wrecker service with no limit on travel radius. Bill and Ray's will get you back on the road. Bill and Ray's, Highway 23 Oskaloosa, and proud supporter of Oski Indians activities. At Clow Valve Company, being the premier place to work is part of our core vision, and this includes helping our local community be a premier place to live. Clow cares and is committed to creating a happier and healthier community. By volunteering in local events and fundraisers. By donating to nonprofit organizations. By leaving a better tomorrow than today. Clow is more. We are Clow Valve. At Community First Credit Union, there's a lot to see. We build customized financial solutions so you can enjoy the life you want. We make it comfortable to have a conversation about what's important to you, like helping you stay on course to reach your savings goal, and what's important to us all, like helping to support causes that count. See for yourself what See First can do for you. Edward Jones is a proud sponsor of the Oskaloosa Indians on the Indians Network. I'm financial advisor Jennifer Maine. I'm financial advisor Austin Norris. I'm financial advisor Amber Coffey. I am financial advisor Brandon Kane. I'm financial advisor Jason Rosenbuehl. I'm financial advisor Michael Bush. Call us today at 1-800-ED-JONES or visit edwardjones.com. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. If you want to save more. If you want a butcher who knows more. If you want fewer aisles and more value. Less quantity. More quality. If you want more of this. And this. And this. This is Fairway. And this is how we do more. Putting our all into meat and grocery. Putting our all into meat and grocery. Putting our all and more into meat and grocery. At Gardner Collier Jewelry, our goal has always been to provide you with the very best jewelry for your money. From plain gold wedding bands to the most exquisite diamond ring, Gardner Collier has it. Our huge selection is sure to exceed your expectations, and our service is second to none. From sterling silver fashion jewelry to the one-of-a-kind diamond fashion piece, Gardner Collier can fill your jewelry desires. For the very best value in fine jewelry, choose Gardner Collier, Quincy Place Mall Otumwa, and Penn Central Mall Oskaloosa. Kinetic Edge Physical Therapy is proud to keep the Oskaloosa Indians and their fans safe and feeling good on or off the field. Kinetic Edge Physical Therapy is the expert in injury care, orthopedics, and sports rehab. Kinetic Edge offers friendly and knowledgeable professionals who will get to know you and your goals to help you get back to doing what you love in no time. Find out more at kineticedgept.com. Whether you have great credit, not so great credit, or even no credit at all, everyone is welcome at Craig Ford in Oskaloosa. And if your credit score is not so great or even bad, we have the vehicles with extra rebates and incentives to help you rebuild your credit and get you into a nice, dependable vehicle. So whether your credit is great or not so great, let my staff at Craig Ford in Oskaloosa help get you into a nicer, more dependable vehicle. At Langkamp Funeral Chapel and Crematory, our family will be here for your family when you need us most. We offer traditional funeral arrangements, which now include crematory services, so your loved one never has to leave our facility. We also provide granite and bronze monument sales, so you can take care of all arrangements at one time. Call 641-672-2181 
or visit LangkampFuneralChapel.com. At Mahaska Health, our team is dedicated to caring for you through every season of life. Whether you are in need of a same-day appointment, preparing to expand your family, or about to undergo surgery with our excellent surgical staff, we are dedicated to helping you feel your best today and every day. Recognized as a top 100 critical access hospital, we are continually driven to enhance the health and well-being of the communities we serve. Mahaska Health. Rush may be an electrician, but he's hardwired to be a dad. Amy is a stay-at-home mom who keeps her family in motion. Together with Noah and Will, they play tough, laugh often, and love always. An economical home equity line from Midwest One helps Rush and Amy stay in the game. They use portions and save the rest for the next play. When your goal is family, trust Midwest One for simply better banking. For nearly 40 years, Musco has specialized in the design and manufacture of sports and large area lighting solutions. From neighborhood ball fields to international speedways, Musco is committed to providing cost-effective lighting solutions and services you can rely on. For your budget, for the environment, Musco Lighting, we make it happen. My name is Amanda Seely, and I've been coming to Dr. Schuster's office for 15 years now. I'm a mother of three little boys, and since having them, they've been coming to Dr. Schuster's office um, in Oski Dental. Um, it's been really seamless. I expected a little few hiccups, but he just has this approach that they're very comfortable again. You're the best! We're going to shoot for being a lifelong patient. Come experience Penn Central Mall. With a variety of shops, services, restaurants, and more, Penn Central is the place to go for all your shopping and entertainment needs. Grab a gourmet grilled cheese at Wonder Lunch, shop the latest trends at Maurice's, find the perfect gift at Gardner Collier, or enjoy a night out with ice cream and retro arcade games at Old School Pinball and Arcade. Penn Central also has numerous public events scheduled throughout the year to provide fun for the whole family. Find them on Facebook to stay up to date with deals and upcoming events. Walk, shop, enjoy. Penn Central Mall. Stop out at Stam Garden Center and Nursery for all your outdoor needs. Stam Garden Center will have a fresh supply of a wide variety of fall annuals, perennials, shrubs, and trees to fit any budget. Autumn Acres will be open Saturday, September 21st, and be open each Friday evening and Saturday through October 26th. Autumn Acres has family fun for everyone, so stop out at Stam Garden Center and Nursery and experience autumn. This is more than a bundle. It's more than a combo deal. It's not just stuff. This is your home, your car, and you want to give them the protection they deserve with home and auto insurance. State Farm agents get it. It's why they're here. Call State Farm agent Wendell Campbell at 641-673-4462. It's more than an education. It's more than a degree. William Penn University is alive with opportunity. Opportunity in a diverse student body. Opportunity in a staff that works with your budget. Opportunity in over 30 programs of study. Opportunity in a classroom where your voice is heard. Find your future and the opportunities waiting for you. Start your planning today at wmpenn.edu and see why William Penn University is alive with opportunity. 
Every morning before my family and I head out the door for the day, we tell each other to be the one. It's a challenge we make to each other to step up and show kindness when we have the opportunity. I'm Mike Sitzma, funeral director here at Bates Funeral Chapel. I see families in some of their toughest times. However, I get to see our community at its best through the outpouring of love and support they show those affected by loss. I challenge you to join me and my family to look for opportunities daily to be the one. With 16 bays and several trained technicians, Bill and Ray's operates the finest diesel engine repair and towing service in Southeast Iowa. They perform complete engine repair, electronic diagnostics on all types of engines, drivetrain rebuilding, fleet service, and motor coach repair, along with 24 hour wrecker service with no limit on travel radius. Bill and Ray's will get you back on the road. Bill and Ray's, Highway 23 Oskaloosa, and proud supporter of Oski Indians activities. At Clow Valve Company, being the premier place to work is part of our core vision, and this includes helping our local community be a premier place to live. Clow cares and is committed to creating a happier and healthier community by volunteering in local events and fundraisers, by donating to nonprofit organizations, by leaving a better tomorrow than today. Clow is more. We are Clow. At Community First Credit Union, there's a lot to... <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Indians Network, presented by Craig Ford. Stay tuned for the announcement from Xavier Foster on his college decision. Coming up here live on the Indians Network. At Community First Credit Union, there's a lot to see. We build customized financial solutions so you can enjoy the life you want. We make it comfortable to have a conversation about what's important to you, like helping you stay on course to reach your savings goal. And what's important to us all, like helping to support causes that count. See for yourself what See First can do for you. Jones is a proud sponsor of the Oskaloosa Indians on the Indians Network. I'm financial advisor Jennifer Maine. I'm financial advisor Austin Norris. I'm financial advisor Amber Coffey. I am financial advisor Brandon Kane. I'm financial advisor Jason Rosenboom. I'm financial advisor Michael Bush. Call us today at 1 800 Ed Jones or visit edwardjones.com. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. If you want to save more. If you want a butcher who knows more. If you want fewer aisles and more value. Less quantity, more quality. If you want more of this. And this. And this. This is Fairway, and this is how we do more. Putting our all into meat and grocery. Putting our all into meat and grocery. Putting our all and more into meat and grocery. At Gardner Collier Jewelry, our goal has always been to provide you with the very best jewelry for your money. From plain gold wedding bands to the most exquisite diamond ring, Gardner Collier has it. Our huge selection is sure to exceed your expectations, and our service is second to none. From sterling silver fashion jewelry to the one-of-a-kind diamond fashion piece, Gardner Collier can fill your jewelry desires. For the very best value in fine jewelry, choose Gardner Collier, Quincy Place Mall Ottumwa, and Penn Center Mall Oskaloosa. Kinetic Edge Physical Therapy is proud to keep the Oskaloosa Indians and their fans safe and feeling good, on or off the field. Kinetic Edge Physical Therapy is the expert in injury care, orthopedics, and sports rehab. Kinetic Edge offers friendly and knowledgeable professionals who will get to know you and your goals to help you get back to doing what you love in no time. Find out more at kineticedgept.com. Whether you have great credit, not so great credit, or even no. All right. Uh, good after. Good morning, everybody. 
We are live on the Indians Network, presented by Craig Ford. The Indians Network, a partnership with MCG, OSCE News, and Thunder Country KIIC, working in cooperation with the students in the OVP program at Oskaloosa High School. It's a beautiful morning in Oskaloosa, Iowa. Snow, ice, we got it all. Uh, school delayed a couple of hours this morning, but the uh, big announcement is still on for Oskaloosa senior uh, seven-footer Xavier Foster. We will find out in just minutes uh, what his college decision is going to be. We do know this. It's either Iowa or or Iowa State. Narrowed it down to those two. So he's staying in state, that's great. I'm Jamie Brockman, I'm joined here uh, by Doug DeCock. Doug, this is a, a big exciting day for the entire community of Oskaloosa. Uh, we're gonna find out where Xavier Foster is going to go uh, after high school and uh, Spotlight right now is on Oskaloosa and Xavier Foster. Yeah, good morning everybody. Uh, uh, we do, with a, probably the most decorated athlete as far as recruiting wise in the history of Oskaloosa is gonna make his announcement today and uh, I think we all need to keep in in perspective what's going on here and be thankful that he is staying within the borders of Iowa we've seen a lot of excellent basketball players over the years in Iowa high schools and uh, Roy Williams has come in from Kansas or North Carolina and 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 they've gotten away so kudos to the Foster family today's a big day for them but it's also a day of relief and celebration that uh, you've made it through this part of the process. Absolutely, it's been a long process, uh, you know, five years or so uh, since the first recruiting call came in or visit. I know uh, Fran McCaffrey at Iowa has been five years talking to the, uh, Xavier and his family. Uh, Iowa State has put a lot of time into him. There's been interest uh, uh, over the years from Kansas. Uh, Duke has spoke to him, I know. Um, Oh, gosh, there's a whole bunch of others. USC was in the mix at one time. UCLA, uh, Virginia Tech, I think, was in there. Uh, Baylor, another one that he gave a lot of thought to. But he narrowed it down to two, Iowa, Iowa State. And uh, we know that for sure. He's staying in the state of Iowa. So talk about the career of Xavier a little bit. Uh, of course, one season to go. That is getting ready to go here. Practice starting in about a week from today, actually. And games will be starting here right before Thanksgiving. But y you look at what he's done so far in his career. Um, so you look at uh, rebounds and blocks. Those are the two things that he does. Uh, Xavier has never been a guy, so far anyway, that dumps in 30, 40 points a game. His big thing is, is defense, blocks, and uh, rebounds. And he's one of the best ever in Oskaloosa High School history. He holds every record and adding to it. Yeah, and I think a lot of people uh, don't realize that on the defensive end. You know, last year and covering him in all year, I, I, would, I would say he's worth every bit of 20 to 30 points on the defensive end, by the way, he uh, defends the rim and uh, alters uh, opposition shots. So, you know, we, we don't look at, at the whole thing. We're in such a an offensive-minded society, it seems like. We only look at points and points and more points. But his, his big uh, thing is, is defending the rim, and he can certainly change games with his ability to do that. Yeah, uh, the only you know stat that he does not hold the uh, the record in at this time is rebounds in a single game and rebounds in a single season. Uh, he does hold the career rebound record though at Oskaloosa with 640 and adding whatever he gets this coming season. But Chuck Converse, of course, uh, big time player back in the day, holds the uh, record for rebounds in a game at 27 and for a season at 370. But Xavier does hold the uh, career rebounding mark at Oskaloosa with 640 and uh, continuing to add it. Uh, block shots is swept on the board record board by Xavier. He's got uh, blocks in a game record with 14, blocks in a season with 148. I think that was last season. And then uh, blocks in a career, 331 block shots in three seasons here at Oskaloosa and one more to go. So uh, he might be, you know, well over 400 blocks by the time he's done here. Yeah, and I, I bet he gives that 27 rebounds in a game a run uh, and also the season. He, he might get that one too. So he might uh, have his own little board here of records. Absolutely. So we're just uh, waiting. Xavier is here in the gym, and the uh, the varsity basketball team is here to support him. Coach Ryan Parker, who's also the activities director, is here. Obviously, Xavier's family is here. His, his dad, Dewan, his mom, Christy, and his uh, very talented sister, who we're going to be talking about a lot over the next five years as well. Uh, Deja is here. She's a seventh grader and a very talented athlete. Some of his close friends are here and a lot of media here for this announcement today as well. So we're happy to be able to bring it to you live right here on the Indians Network, uh, presented by Craig Ford. Again, I'm Jamie Brockman, joined by Doug DeCock. We invite you to stay tuned after the announcement. Uh, we are going to uh, speak to Xavier Foster. Uh, we'll also talk to his mom and his dad, and we'll talk to uh, basketball coach Ryan Parker. 
after the announcement is made. Now, there's a lot of media here. I don't know. Uh, he's going to get swarmed right when he's done, so I don't know how long it'll take before uh, we get him over here to the table, but uh, we will definitely uh, talk live with Xavier Foster after his announcement and his family as well and Coach Ryan Parker. So make sure you stay tuned for that uh, after the announcement is made. So uh, roads are slick out there, so do be careful this morning. Uh, we did receive, I don't know exactly, how, Doppler Doug, how much snow did we get overnight? Well, I don't think we got all that much snow, probably less than two inches, but it's the wind blowing it across the road that's creating the hazardous conditions. So, yeah, be careful out there. It's, uh, I think the snow's pretty much done for now. So yeah, it, is, it is a little slippery, though, and uh, be, be careful. Add extra time to your trip this morning. School was delayed two hours in Oskaloosa, as well as many others. Okay, hang on. Ryan Parker, Activities Director, is... Uh, Introducing the uh, Foster family as they make their way to the table. So we're moments away from the announcement. All right, so there you see the Foster family seated at the table. Xavier along with his mom and his dad, Dwan and Christy. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so there you go. Iowa State is the decision for Xavier Foster. Short and easy. And in yeah, typical Xavier fashion, it, it wasn't flashy. It was just, just let's get the job done and move on here. So it, it's Iowa State is Xavier's pick here uh, for his college choice. And uh, honestly, I think that's, a, that's an excellent choice. Uh, it should fit in good there. All right, so uh, Xavier did make his announcement again. It is Iowa State is where Xavier is going. Doug DeCock needs to uh, leave and get to his job at Swim Sports. So thank you very much, Doug DeCock. And uh, now Xavier Foster will be uh, coming over, and uh, we'll be talking to him shortly, as well as his mom, Christy, his dad, uh, Dewan, and we'll get some words from uh, Oscar to Coach Ryan Parker as well here as soon as we can. But again, the announcement has been made. Iowa State is the choice of our seven-foot, four-star recruit. Xavier Foster, he will be a cyclone. I see uh, Dad Dewan is coming over to sit here with us at the uh, table. And uh, well, Dewan, thanks for coming over. Uh, the decision has been made. It is Iowa State. So uh, congratulations on that. And uh, first off, just tell us what the last uh, 24 to 48 hours have been like for you and your family. Um, it's been actually kind of easy. The, the thing is, Xavier hasn't necessarily been too worked up or too excited about it. So we hadn't really even discussed it. I mean, we took some time yesterday to discuss pros and cons of, of going each way. But at the end of the day, there really isn't very many cons. I mean, you know, two great schools, two great staff. So it was just what he felt more comfortable with. And, you know, I guess he just felt more comfortable heading over to Ames. So how do you feel his style of play fits into Coach Prohm's program? And, and, and what do you see Xavier's role being at Iowa State? And, and is he expected to play as a freshman right off the bat? Or what has the talk been there? Um, you know, I, I don't know how, if he's going to play right away, because the one thing that, that we've always prepared for is playing times aren't like, you know, because you, what you did in high school doesn't mean anything. You know, you, you are uh, the, the bottom of the totem pole. You're a freshman. That, that's like one of the worst things to be in basketball is a freshman, unless you're just really special. Well, you know, Xavier's still got a lot of room to grow <clears throat> and, and, you know, so. As far as the playing style there at Iowa State, the, the one of the things that we pride we prided Xavier's development in was being able to play with anybody in any style of basketball. You know, if you can shoot it, it, they can find a place for you. If you can defend and rebound, he'll be good. So that that's really what we focus on. And if he works hard enough, he'll find his way on the court no matter where he goes. In my opinion. 
All right, so once again, uh, Xavier Foster's announcement has been made. Iowa State is the destination for uh, Xavier Foster after high school the next four years. So Cyclone Nation going crazy this morning, I'm sure. And uh, I know you spent a lot of time talking to Coach McCaffrey. I know you spent a lot of time with Coach Prohm and other coaches. What has this entire process been like? It's been basically a five-year process. You've had coaches calling, emailing, texting, visiting, and everything. What was? Just tell me what that process was like. It's, it's, it's not something that uh, most kids and families get to experience. Um. It, it was pretty cool. I mean, you know, being a basketball fan, you, you know, be at home and you, your phone ringing, you look down, it's Bill Self or, you know, it, it, so it's kind of surreal. And then you get to go all these places and see all, all, all the cool stuff that these different programs have to offer. So myself as a basketball fan, I enjoyed the ride. Like, you know, it. It would have been nice for it to be a bit shorter or even traditional, like, you know, kids typically get recruited, you know, after their sophomore year. So, you know, you got two years of it. Ours was a bit extended, but I, I enjoyed it. I got to see a bunch of different places, meet a lot of really neat coaches and just kind of see how things were done at a, at a higher level of basketball than I'd ever really been uh, experienced, been able to experience. Yep. I know uh, you obviously have worked very closely with Xavier uh, up to this point uh, uh, on his basketball skills, and, and uh, you're a big part of his success. So tell me, um, what type of player, how, how would you describe Xavier as a player? And, and, and tell me about his growth that you've seen from him from the time he was a kid to now. Um, uh, the type of player he is, Xavier, is a, a, a rebounder, shot blocker who can actually stretch the floor. He shoots the ball pretty well for a seven-foot kid, and, and he's really mobile. I, I didn't know what a Division One player looked like. You know, as a 14, 15, 16, 17-year-old, I, I had no clue what it what it looked like. I, I just knew that you know I'm his dad. I'm I'm a coach, but I'm his dad. So no matter what, I see all the flaws in his game. So I'm biased as far as you know what his development because I see that there, there's so much room to grow versus where he is. And then you know I'll go places and I'll see other kids his age, his size, and I was like, oh wow, that's why people think Xavier could be has potential to be special. He moves well, you know, things of that nature. So I'm just kind of along for the ride, and it, it's cool to be, you know, along for the ride with my son. I, was, I enjoyed it, you know. Yeah, I, I can't imagine what that's like. Again, it's something that, uh, you know, few families get a chance to go through the process. And congratulations to you, Christy, your entire family. I don't think we're done yet. We may do this again with uh, uh, your young daughter, Deja, too, in a few years, huh? You know, it's the running joke in our house is she's the best athlete in the family. Um, you know, Xavier hates hearing it, but Deja's knows who she is she's really tough really physical so you know hopefully we do get to do it again all right well Dwan, congratulations to you and your family and especially congratulations to xavier we're so proud of him and uh, i'm glad he's close and we can watch him uh, for you know five more years now right. senior year and through college all right thanks jamie you bet. that is uh, Dwan foster he is the uh, father of uh Xavier Foster, and uh, of course, uh, what a process it's been the last uh, five years or so as uh, this school, this school, this school comes in and shows interest. And again, I know, you know, he, he spent a lot of time on Baylor, uh, Iowa, Iowa State, obviously, were both in the mix. Kansas, Kansas uh, was in the mix for a while. Uh, Virginia Tech, I think it was, uh, UCLA, USC, all showed interest and uh, at least expressed uh, some sort of interest in Xavier coming to their school. Xavier right now is being surrounded by uh, media uh, for some interviews, and he's going to come over and speak with us here shortly so stay tuned don't go away here on the Indians Network uh, we have more to come as we're going to talk with Xavier Foster and uh, also we'll talk to uh, coach Ryan Parker I believe uh, his mom Christy I don't know she's here mom is still here and so is uh, Deja um, but a good crowd of people uh, fought the, the snowy roads this morning to get here and uh, be here for this announcement. And then Xavier makes it short and sweet, as Doug said, typical uh, Xavier Foster. Uh, just, just come up and say, ah, I'm choosing Iowa State and be done. So Iowa State is the destination for uh, Xavier Foster. And I know Cyclone Nation is going nuts right now all around the country as they just got one of the top recruits in the nation. He's definitely a, a top 15, 20 recruit in the nation. Uh, he's the top recruit in the state of Iowa coming out of this year, and uh, he's a four-star recruit overall. So um, congratulations to Xavier Foster. Again, uh, he is headed to Iowa State University to continue his uh, basketball after high school. Still has a senior year to go here, though, at Oskaloosa. And, of course, uh, the Indians open up defense of their Class 3A state championship here pretty soon. Practice starts one week from today, and... Uh, Games will begin just before Thanksgiving time. 
I'm going to move around the gym a little bit here, see if maybe I can get up there and uh, get a word. Talk to maybe uh, Ryan Parker. Here we go. We got uh, head, Oskaloosa head basketball coach Ryan Parker. He's also the uh, activities director here at the school. Uh, big day here today. Big morning in typical Xavier Foster. The announcement lasted about eight seconds. <laughs> yeah, I, that's Zay. That's Zay for you. Uh, I'm so happy for him and his family. Uh, all the hard work that's gone into this. Uh, you know, but even even more so. Um, you know, the stress that's off him now after making that decision. I can just focus on on school and uh, his senior year. Yeah, that's got to be a, a lot of stress off of you, too, because now you don't have to be bothered by coaches coming in here and there. But you got to start practice here in a week and open up defense of that 3A championship. And I know I'm excited, especially with this pressure off of Zay, to see what he can do this year. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I get this pressure off you, but there's a little more added pressure on Zay, you know, a little bit more uh, need for him, you know, to score the ball and uh, to be the man on the floor. Um, but, yeah, we're looking forward to getting this season kicked off and defend our state title. And, you know, things aren't going to be easy. We've talked year and year um, after uh, we started this thing uh, six years ago that the target on our back keeps getting bigger, and it's not any, it can't get any bigger than it is now. So um, it never hurts to have a seven-footer and a number one-ranked uh, kid in the class of 2020 in the state of Iowa on your team um, that can erase shots at the rim and, and score from 25. So, um you know, just looking forward to the season get started and, and, and throw a whole new team out there on the floor. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about Xavier's choice for Iowa State. Yeah. How, how do you feel he fits in there with Coach Prohm and, and his program? Zay's going to be good no matter where he's at. Um, for the simple reason, he he changes shots at the rim, and he'll do that at every level. Um, and that's honestly why people are recruiting him. Yeah, he can score it at all different levels. Yeah, he can do a lot of different things. Um, but his his shot blocking is the thing that that equates to every level, um, and so that's where I see him fitting in there. As far as offensively and everything else, I, I'm not sure, but he'll be on the floor because of his shot blocking presence. All right. Well, Ryan, uh, looking forward to this uh, season coming up. Again, you start practice in a week from today, and and uh, we'll go after another title. So uh, look forward to that. Yeah. Thanks, Jamie. That is uh, Ryan Parker. He is the athletic director and also the uh, head coach, of course, at Oskaloosa Boys Basketball. And uh, I'm going to make my way over here shortly, and, and we're going to talk with uh, Zay himself, Xavier Foster, coming up here. Just moments. We'll talk to him live on the Indians Network. Thank you all for uh, joining us this morning on this snowy morning. Again, uh, I do encourage you to be careful out there. The roads are slick. They are snow-covered. Uh, we only got a couple inches of snow, but the, the winds have really blown it around. And uh, it is slick, and uh, visibility is down in places. So... Please be careful out there and uh, allow yourself extra travel time. Again, uh, what do you like school was delayed two hours this morning in Oskaloosa and many districts around the state, uh, around our area anyway, were all uh, delayed two hours. So again, uh, be careful out there. Bundle up, it is cold. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna walk over and talk to uh, See if we can see if we can find uh, mom. There we go. I'm gonna make my way over and find Christy. So, stay with us here on the Indians Network. We're continuing our coverage of uh, Xavier Foster and his announcement this morning. And uh, the announcement is he is going to Iowa State University. He will be a Cyclone. So, Hawkeye fans all across the country right now are uh, disappointed, but Cyclone Nation is rocking as they got the number one recruit in the state of Iowa out of the class of 2020 in uh, seven-footer Xavier Foster. I'm excited to watch and see what he can do. I'm a Hawkeye fan, but I'm not a Cyclone uh, uh, hater, so I'm excited, and I'm certainly going to make a lot of trips to Hilton Coliseum to watch uh, Xavier play over uh, the next four years after this year. Hopefully you will, too. I, I hope you will uh, keep your comments, you know, whether you're a Hawkeye or a Cyclone. Hey, he's staying in the state of Iowa, and that's what matters, and, uh, and we're happy for him. So here I am with uh, Christy, Christy Foster, the mom. And boy, mom, what a process this has been. Tell me, tell me about the last four or five years and, and going through this process leading up to today. Um, so last four and five years has just been kind of a blur when it comes down to it, and just really glad and, um, that he's kind of gone through that process and made a decision on his own. And... Um, the last couple of days have been, you know, actually it was yesterday at 3 o'clock. We kind of sat down together <laughs> and, and just kind of discussed a little bit along the fact of, you know, both schools have been great. And the biggest thing, like we've said for Xavier, well, a, lot, a big one for him was with relationship. Um, and so we really felt like we had a really good relationship between both schools. So that was, 
you know, so when it came down to the process of just deciding where he was going to go, I mean, it was just, I, I think, more of a gut feeling for him at the time. And um, But it's been a lot of fun, a lot of excitement, just kind of surreal. Yeah. So. So I was, next week, you kind of touched on some of it. I was going to ask why, you know, what is it that drew him to Iowa State for that final decision? And, and it did go right down the wire. I know, uh, you know, both coaches have been here in the past week to visit with him one final time, and he's made some more visits. Uh, but what is it that ultimately made him say, I want to play for Iowa State? And then how do you feel he fits into their program? Um, I'll be real honest. From my aspect, I was really open. Um, so I was really pretty open to either program I mean uh, and I feel like the relationships for both schools have been great um, for him you know I like I said I don't think he knew one way or the other but it was just more of a gut feeling um, I think he was kind of looking to us for the answer a little bit and we just kind of gave it to him and said this is yours and we'll be happy with whatever decision you make um, you know same thing throughout our family and just friends we just you know there's not really a great answer I can give you on that I mean you know he has aspirations to go to the NBA we saw Iowa State definitely had a few more um, recent um, success with that so that, I think that would be one piece to the puzzle but I can't really give you a great straight answer well, obviously, uh, a lot of thoughts have come over the last just couple of days I'm sure but uh, you got to be happy that he's only what uh, 80 85 miles away from home, so you can see you can see your son a lot. Not only playing basketball, but he can come home for visits pretty easily. That's got to be nice. That was once he narrowed it down to the in-state. I think that for me was just like the breath of fresh air. I was like so thankful just because we've had so much community support from Oskaloosa. I mean, text messages from people here in town, both sides of the street, you know, but. Um, so, and then when he was, you know, and people are going to come out and support him. And, and it just kind of continues when you, you know, go out of state, you can see him on television and stuff like that, but you can't get to the games. And so that is just going to be fabulous when you, you know, see all the people there supporting your son. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. So. Absolutely. Well, congratulations to you and your family. And as I said to Dewan a little bit ago, uh, we'll, we'll set up to do this again in a few more years when Deja gets up there. Cause <laughs> I don't think you're done with the college show recruiting yet. Yeah. Uh, that's a, they were saying, you know, it's been four or five years and, um, and they like get back to normal or something. And I'm thinking in my back of my mind, I could probably have one or two years of normal and then we'll probably go through it again. But either way, you know, it's, uh, it doesn't happen very often. So we're just super blessed and, you know, God's blessed us with that. And we're just, um, thank, thank you for God, all your guys' support and coverage and all that kind of stuff too. And, um, yeah, hopefully have a good season and yep. should be a lot of fun. Well, hopefully we end the season at Wells Fargo Arena and then we, uh, then we watch him at Hilton Coliseum four years after that. Congratulations again to you and your family and uh, so excited for Xavier. Thank you. Have a good day. That is uh, Christy Foster. She's the uh, mom of Xavier and uh, looking around the gym. You wouldn't think it'd be... I think it'd be kind of hard to lose a guy that's seven foot tall, but uh, I think I see him over here in the corner, so we'll get to him here in a moment. He's uh, finishing up more interviews. There's a lot of media here today, a lot of media here today, and uh, obviously big focus on Oskaloosa and Xavier Foster today, so uh, we're happy to be able to bring it to you here on the Indians Network Live. Thanks to uh, Kim Guile and her OVP crew uh, that came in today despite school being delayed, despite the roads. They made it here. We were here about 7.30, 7.45 this morning getting set up and ready, and uh, they've done a fantastic job. So thank you to them, uh, running the cameras and the controls in the production room. And... Uh, Stay with us. We're going to talk to Xavier here in a minute, and then we'll wrap up our coverage today from the Oskaloosa Gym here on the Indians Network. But once again, the uh, decision has been made. Iowa State is the uh, choice for Xavier Foster. He's going to be a, a Cyclone. So we're happy for him, and, uh, you know, again, I'm an Iowa fan, but I'm very happy that uh, Xavier made a choice that he feels comfortable with, that he feels fits him, and I wish him the best of luck for sure at Iowa State, and I, and I know I'm going to be uh, attending a few more Iowa State games uh, over the next four years, well, five years. We have a senior year to go here yet, but uh, I'll, be, I'll be traveling to Iowa State a little bit more than, than maybe I'd planned <laughs> originally, taking some Iowa State games and watch him grow throughout his uh, college career. So... Moving our way over, we'll be here in a minute, wrapping up some uh, TV interviews. But again, the uh, Indians open up defense of their 3A state championship. One week from today, practice starts right here in the Oskaloosa gym. 
and uh, games will be starting uh, just before Thanksgiving and then of course get hot and heavy on the schedule once we get into December and uh, move into 2019 and the Indians go after their uh, second straight 3A state championship. And, of course, Xavier Foster will be a huge part of that. So, again, just some of his, uh, his career numbers that we talked about earlier. Um, yeah, you can see him out there on the, uh, on the board. Um, but uh, Xavier, you know, rebounds and uh, blocks is where he stands out and will be remembered forever in Oskaloosa basketball history. Uh, he holds the school record right now for blocks in a career with 640 through three seasons and actually really about two and a half seasons because when he was a freshman uh, he played sparingly uh, so sophomore junior year is where most of these have come from but 640 career blocks that is unbelievable I don't know that that will ever be broken and he's got one more season to add to it uh, blocks in a game 14 blocks in a season 148 and uh, that's rebounds, by the way, I was talking about earlier, six, 640. These are blocks now, 14 blocks in a game, 148 blocks in a season, 331 blocks in a career. Those are all school records currently held by Xavier Foster and building uh, with his senior season to come. Again, the rebounds, uh, 640 in a career and adding is the record that he holds for Oskaloosa High School. Chuck Converse, who was a, a big-time player, Oskaloosa, uh, holds rebounds in a game and rebounds in a season records for Oskaloosa. So he's finishing up here, and, and we'll get to him soon. Stay with us. I want to thank uh, MCG for their help on this. Uh, Nick over at MCG did a great job putting together the uh, graphics for us that you've seen on your screen today. Thank you to Nick for that. So uh, in the production room, if you can pop up the, uh, the, uh, the picture with Xavier and uh, Iowa State. See if you can pop that one up on the screen, but uh, all right. We're gonna let uh, TV Channel 8 is here and they're gonna do a quick interview with him and then, and then we're next up. So hang on, hang tight. Big day here though, exciting time for Xavier Foster. If you missed the original announcement, it was about eight seconds long. And uh, I wasn't able to hear it very well because I was uh, a distance away, but I know you were able to hear it on the, on the TV and on the, on the uh, stream. But um, it was about an I don't know, eight second announcement. <laughs> he said his choice was Iowa State, and then he just smiled and, and uh, started, started doing interviews. So announcement was made just after 9 a.m. this morning. So I know a lot, of, a lot of kids and everything that may not have been able to see this today were able to because school was delayed. All right. So we'll, we'll get him here in about five seconds. Hey, Zay, come over here. All right, so here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Camera's right up there, Zay, if you want to look at it. Here he is, everybody. I, I feel like I'm about a foot tall right now, but uh, this is Xavier Foster. And Xavier, the announcement was made, Iowa State is your destination. Congratulations. What made you decide Iowa State? Um, the relationships that I had with the players, really. Um, you know, I've been up there a ton. I had a girlfriend up there for a while, and I got to visit the guys that, uh, every, every week, really. I see them quite often. So really just the relationships that I had built up there and play style really um i just felt like it was a good fit for me what is it that you feel is a good fit at iowa state how uh, where do you feel you'll be how do, where do you feel you'll be you'll be able to fit in um you know coming in i feel like i'll probably be a role player and that's just perfectly fine for me um knowing that you have to build up you have to work to get to being the guy on the team so i i'm perfectly fine with being a role player uh, coming in getting good minutes and contributing to the team really and have they talked to you about, uh, I mean, coming in freshman, they expect you to be able to play and, and get minutes as, as a freshman? They have. They have expressed that to me, but playing time's earned, really. So. Well, how has this whole process been? You've talked to a lot of coaches. You've visited a lot of schools and watched a lot of basketball at the next level over the last five years. Take me through that process and, and what it was like for you and your family. Uh, it's been a, a ride, really. Um, having my first offer as a freshman for uh, a basketball game really was uh, really set it off so from that point on uh, we just it, it came normal really um, so the ride 
we, I don't know. I mean, you went all over the country. Yeah, we did go all over the country. There was, I think I took 15 official visits um, starting my sophomore year. So uh, Iowa State is the destination. That's good. We get to come and watch you play. And I, uh, I'm an Iowa fan, but I'll be coming and supporting you at Iowa State for sure. And, and I'm, I'm glad you're happy with your decision. When did you make the decision? Because as of Friday, you, you, you were still 50-50, didn't know. So when did you finally say, all right, this is, this is where I'm going? Me and my family had sat down last night and talked about it. Um, so l last night, really. Okay. And so now, does that take a big weight off of your back, and now you're able to concentrate on, on your senior season of high school? It, it does take a lot off my back, but um, it, it put a lot on my back as well because, you know, not knowing what I was going to do, not knowing where I was going, and figuring out the last day made it a little bit more difficult, but it's a good feeling being able to focus on basketball this year. All right, well, that starts in a week, so we're looking forward to that, and uh, let's go get another state title. Sure, that'll be awesome. All right, Xavier, congratulations to you, man. You. Good luck to you. So that is uh, Xavier Foster right there, and uh, he's going to Iowa State University, ladies and gentlemen. So Cyclone Nation going crazy. Hawkeye Nation, not so much this morning. But hopefully everybody stays positive with this. Uh, he is a, a local boy from Oskaloosa, Iowa, who loves to play the game of basketball and is uh, one of the most talented players that we may ever see come through Oskaloosa High School. Uh, so it, it's been a ride. It's been fun. It's been an honor to uh, watch him grow and cover his uh, games and things like that. I'm looking forward to doing that again this winter. And uh, hopefully we go after another three state championship so uh, with that I think we're going to pretty much uh, wrap up our coverage here we've uh, spoke to mom we spoke to dad we spoke to coach Parker and we got words from Xavier himself so hope you enjoyed our coverage this morning again thanks to Kim Guile and everybody at OVP for uh, coming in the weather this morning despite school being late getting set up and uh, getting us on the air and uh, we hope you enjoyed it so once again Xavier Foster going to Iowa State University he will be a cyclone congratulations to Xavier on 